We have not had a real talk on this channel in so very long, and that's because there hasn't been much to talk about. There's a multiple things that I wanna talk about in this video. So the only people that are going to care are the people that are going to stay all the way through the video. So my audience retention is going to die because of this video. I post three great videos and then this mediocre video. One thing that I've always wanted to do is create merch. And I've, I have talked about that for so long, for so long. And I've tried spread shirts. This is what I got with spread shirt. You think it looks good, but first of all, the design is way too small. The colors are iffy. It's, it can easily be scratched off. So that's not cool. I wanted a printed on design, like it was one with the shirt. You know, that's kind of what I wanted. So I haven't found much success with that. I think spread shirt is trash. Do not, I am I'm just not happy with spread shirt. I'm glad I didn't open the store because I didn't want to sell my community trash products, which is why there's no Mass Wreath merch to this day, still. I tried Redbubble a while ago, but then after setting up the store, which honestly, there were some pretty cool products too. I was, I was actually happy, like really happy. And then I realized, oh wait, this is a site for artists to get their art out there, not really a, a shop for people to shop at. So that doesn't really work for me because it sold, you could sell designs kind of, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted a merch store. So that didn't really work out for me. Now comes the part where I could say something and just tease the idea of a Christmas Eve sweater or shirt or something would you would any of you be interested in that because that's that's what Dooley box is working on currently christmas eve design i don't know whether i want to put it on sweaters or t-shirts i'm a t-shirt person i barely wear any sweaters but i think a christmas eve christmas sweater would be amazing i might make two designs i might do like a t-shirt and a sweater because you know i i would want both <laughs> so i think that would be cool let me know in the comments i would really appreciate that now you're, you're you're probably wondering why I posted three videos in one week isn't that kind of weird for me yeah it's weird ha am I going YouTube full-time I wish no I don't I don't have the finances to do that are you kidding me no hashtag mastery patreon please I need food <laughs> When I do that, everybody, that's a joke. I just want to be that clear. So the first video was the unboxing video, right? And 117's Rad Science album came out and I wanted to get on the trend. So I'm like, I got to create this unboxing video ASAP. And actually, because I got on the trend just in time, 117 actually watched my unboxing video and I am super happy. They are my favorite band of all time. And it's so cool when your favorite band watches a video that you actually made it was so cool so then the next video was the 200 sub special video right which honestly i am so proud of that video because i did i did a lot of different things in it and it was really fun creatively honestly it is the most fun video i have ever created on this channel and i'm super proud of it and i kind of want to i want to do more videos like that where it's like where I talk in a chair like this and all of a sudden I jump to a skit. Just to keep the video interesting, you know, because I don't want this to be boring. Real talks are going to be me sitting in a chair talking to the camera, to you all who have subscribed. Oh yeah, no, one year anniversary of Number Blue was wrong. How could I forget that video? That was a very interesting video and I'm still waiting for Number Blue to post something so I can post something so that we can extend the controversy. But yeah, that, that kind of happened all in one week. I was shocked. That wasn't my original plan, but it kind of happened. And I think because of that, I feel a little burnt out. Like, I don't know what my next video is gonna be because I have a secret project that I've been working on for a while that I'm still not happy with, but I'm probably gonna post eventually. Uh, I've also got Number Blue making a video on me, I know, because he sent me part of the script. So, I'm still waiting on that. So I'm kind of just like in this, in the middle, which is why I'm making this video, because I haven't done a real talk in a while, like I've said before. And yeah, you know, it's fun. I like to talk to my community. One of the reasons I, m my channel's clean and I try to not dive into the dirty parts of the internet, you know, or, or talk about it or anything like that is because I am a Christian. And because of that, I want to help everyone that I can. And one way for me to help people is to create clean content on the internet. For me personally, I don't see a lot of that out there. So I want to be the one who's like, I want to be the light in the darkness, you know? I want to help people. I want to create great content, create 
family friendly content now the reason i don't say family friendly anymore is because thanks to pewdiepie it's become a meme and so now i have to say clean content which is what i've always said now here comes the portion of the video that i actually wanted to talk about but this video has been kind of like an update you know i i i like updates they're fun i don't know whether to title this like update or the thing that i actually wanted to talk about in this video this video has turned into an update so stop caring now that was a great transition no it wasn't so i've been struggling with a certain insecurity which is my face it's not just my face though it's da -da -da. i'm sorry that was too close yeah that my acne a i've been insecure about it for so many years in my life and it's it's kind of funny because i've been trying to fix it like my entire life I've tried everything and it hasn't gone away. I've been exercising, eating better, still hasn't gone away. So, you know, I've learned to now live with it. I've learned to love myself because there's a reason I have it, you know? And I, I personally think I have this because it's a way for me to help other people, to, you know, to, the, to relate to them and say, hey, I know you have this and so do I, but I, I have to let you know that it's going to be okay. You know, you aren't defined by what you look like in my mind if somebody judges you solely by how you look that is a very shallow judgment so yeah if any of you are struggling with what i struggle with i have to let you know i feel for you i understand it's gonna be okay and the thing is with that it's gonna go away eventually you know so why live life worrying about it if it's gonna go away eventually you know you're not gonna live with it forever so that's that's another thing to keep in mind, you know. So I just want to be real with y'all because I'm a person. I am a human being who also has struggles. I am not perfect in any way, shape or form. OK, we all have our issues and problems. I've cleared my brain and that's good because like you, you all are so great. You're so amazing. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> subscribe if you're new. Honestly, if you've watched this far, you probably should subscribe if you're new and press that bell. <laughs> Because that means you probably actually like me. Thank you for watching. And I will see you later. So, goodbye.